Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Uh, what do I usually tell everybody? Yeah, swarm coming in and you see bees on the ground like this. What's that usually indicate? I haven't done anything except walk up on this hive here. I just had went through some of these and apparently a swarm has come in and uh, taken over some one of these probably that little mini right here where they're congregating so first thing you do look around your hive anytime you see bees like this start looking for a queen because there's an excellent chance that there's a queen down there so I've not even looked yet so make sure I get my camera pointing the right way let's dig through the pile and see what we got quite a few down there right there right there she is was I saw her there for a second big queen pretty good size right there she is catch her like a crawl dead okay <clears throat> what I did this time as soon as I spotted her or grabbed her uh, I wasn't gonna take my eye off of her again because she's really really hiding you can see right there the bees got her covered up yeah you catch her like a crawdad if you ever catch crawdads. Of course, crawdads don't have wings, but you just catch them on the back of the wing like that. And maybe what happened, this little uh, two-framer right here may have been a weak colony. It, it did, because I just went through here this morning. You can see that nuke right there. Uh, I did a box change out on that box right there because it had wild comb on the side of it. So I put a new box, put the frames in there and smoked the bees and let them walk up into the the new box. So I've already been through here. I was already through here and checked all these. And they had bees in them and they've had bees in them. This is not a mating flight by no means. I know, I know it's not. So um, possibility one queen made it in or this is the only uh, queen of the colony, not sure. They're definitely not balling her. See how they're acting with her right here? If they was trying to kill her, she, they would have been balled up on the ground with her, but they're not doing that at all. So they're, they're paying a lot of attention to her. I'm gonna go get a cage and put her in. I'll be right back. Okay. I got her in the cage, <clears throat> and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him a few minutes right here to, to get on the cage, and if you recognize the wire and what I use it for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let her get on this, let them collect on this cage a little bit, and uh, remember about how many bees are right here, very little. There might possibly be a quarter pound of bees, if that many. Not many. So I'll let a few get on there. Then I'm gonna take it over there and, and hang it up in that tree. And I'm, I'm thinking I know where this swarm's coming from. Uh, that little two framer that I that little two framer that I have that's up under that uh, little shed has been really packed. And I just been letting it go and just let it do what it's gonna do. And I'm looking over there now. And those bees are coming from that direction. So I'm thinking that's where they're coming from. And we'll let a few bees get on here. And I'll just hang it. And uh, You don't really want to hang it too close to your hive. Because you can cause a lot of activity from the other hives coming over to it. And we really don't want that. So I'll try to get it away a little ways. Usually you get a... A few bees mm -hmm. like that on there, just a hundred or so. And we'll take it over here, put it in our tree. Our normal hang up spot where we hang these and I'm shaking her up pretty good. 
it won't take much to hold it just to and those bees will signal to those other bees and we'll see if we can't get that cluster of bees over here and probably the bees coming from over there I can see now that that colony that I was talking about is uh, the it was bearded up pretty heavy this morning because I was watching and I was and in my head I was thinking when's this thing gonna swarm and I guess today <laughs> so we're gonna hang it right there so what I'll do we'll just let it hang here for a while I can see a few bees coming to it uh, hopefully those bees back there at the hive it's we was picking them up right there that's where I picked that queen up uh, just something a little off subject real quick I want to show you something this hive right here it was pretty much a dead out uh, but also it's, it's got drawn comb in it and if you see those chicks right there they're not eating bees uh, but wax moth larva hive beetle larva is what they're eating right there is what they're going after see those babies they're right up at the entrance of that and hopefully one of those hives there beside them doesn't sting them but they're really gentle bees so usually it doesn't I don't want to get too close because she'll run off with them so see how she's digging right there in the front she's digging she knows that those hive beetle larva are right there or beetles in general and they love hive beetles wax moth larva anything like that so they know that that hive that's probably had a because it's it's been dead there for a while i took the top off of it to prevent any kind of wax moth or hive beetle invasion more to go on because you expose it to light uh, you're less likely to, to have anything like that in it but it probably already had some in it and those uh that mama and her babies are cleaning that larva up. Goosey and goose. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on this right here. And I'll film it occasionally through today. And hopefully, let's see if those bees from over there will not find their queen. And then it would be much easier from there to take that queen and put her in another location if some of those bees will cluster from there and find her over here. Let's find out, see if they do. Okay, as you can see, just from moving that, that was probably 25, 20, 25 foot, probably 25 foot from there to here. And they found their queen. Just by putting a handful there they was able to easily locate that queen now look at them that cluster is growing pretty good size now it's very manageable i can take this which now i'm i'm pretty positive it come from that little nuke over there that little two frame nuke is an amazing little hive it was absolutely packed out so this is a excellent this is a very good queen so i'll make sure she goes in a good box where she's able to grow i'll let these uh bees get on here for the for the rest of the day and there's quite a few still moving all those that was over here on the ground they've already come up and they're over there on the queen except right there just a remnant of them just a uh not even a a few because they still smell that pheromone on the ground but they will find their way bees know they know how to find stuff like that so We'll let this little swarm build up and we'll put it in a big nuke because I know it's a good strong queen. So we'll put it in, not in a, we'll put it in a five framer. And uh, with a, with a frame of, with a couple frames of, of honey, or at least one good frame of honey to get them going strong and I'll mark it that I, cause I know this is a, a beyond normal queen cause it, uh, it's a very strong queen. But anyway, just wanted to show that. Uh, don't forget, Saturday, May 18th, 
this coming Saturday, Coffee Bee Chat. Uh, I mentioned it in the, in the last video that I just put out. Uh, would have been today's Thursday. So it would have been yesterday. Uh, well, actually last night. I put it out last night. I'll put this video out uh, probably tomorrow, which would be Friday. Try to get it out early Friday so people will get a chance to see it. Coffee Bee Chat, don't forget. Uh, anyone that doesn't know what it is, uh, we have these about three, four times a year. We've had one already. One we had in March. Uh, we didn't have any in April, so this one in May, and hopefully we'll have one in June and July. It, it's a chance for people, and we've had people come 10 hours away to to, the, to our bee chats. We A lot of people from Alabama come, uh, Tennessee, North Carolina. They come from all over uh, to uh, come in and talk with us, and it's fun. Uh, free coffee, donuts, and we just chit-chat. We have uh, five or six good, knowledgeable beekeepers that just walks around and answers questions. <clears throat> and it's it, it's it's helped out a lot of beekeepers because they um, have a lot of questions, of course, to ask, and, and we're there to answer them. I will film a little bit of it or have somebody film just a tad bit of it so we can post later. But don't forget, if you've not ever got a chance to come to it, uh, 215B Market Street, Chatsworth, Georgia. You'll love it. It's just good fun. Be chat, be talk, and uh, come learn with us, and we'll ha help out the new beekeeper or, or even advanced beekeepers. We've had people come there uh, with uh, 30 years under the belt and walk away, learn a lot of information. So, so don't forget. Coffee Bee Chat, May 18th, this coming Saturday. And don't forget uh, packages. We should have uh, some packages available in the store too, as well, at that time, and and uh, in Queens. So, so don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Barnard Bees.